なぎさちゃんあの台湾カステラ食べないうわーいい台湾カステラ食べる So, a Nintendo Direct in September, huh? It's very bold of you to assume... To assume that... Nintendo's just like... You know what, after Tears of the Kingdom, we've pretty much blown our load. We've got nothing else for this year, first party-wise. So, screw it. Here's the Mario game. That will do ya. I hear Charles Martinet is not actually the voice for this, apparently. So, or he is and he just seems very off. Which makes sense, because it's his last game. Why don't Bowser just, you know, just take a day off and be like, you know what? I'm not feeling it today. Let someone else try and take over the Mushroom Kingdom. So he's basically Modok now. Only, you know, less shitty. <laughs> this game's gonna be like a pure, pure trip. If the initial trailer was anything to go by, this thing's gonna be like crazy. But it has to, like, come on. I mean, there has to be a reason there's a direct on for specifically this game. I'm assuming they're just it's just a whole bunch of new features. They, as much as I love Mario, I, you know, want something new from a Mario game. So, you know, give us something good, Nintendo. I'm actually really interested in this game. I put it down. I've got a whole list of games that I want to play this year. That are coming out. All the games that I said in my reaction videos. Yeah, I want to play this. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. And I will. Yeah, Ocean World, Ice World, Fire World, Grass World Boss. How did, how did Yahtzee Crochel say it again? You know, the typical... Pet, there's, there's the Ice one. We got the Standard Grass one. There's the Cloud World... There's kind of... This isn't... This... Hang on now. Just a second. This is like every other Mario game. Oh, Nintendo. You can't expect us to just play the same game over and over again. That would be stupid. Rich variety, he says. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. So it's just 3D world. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. In courses, you might notice some who plays levels who plays levels twice Close in a Mario game you get up here? What a pretty the only reason you the only reason you play a course again is because your stupid ass missed the gold the special coins Yeah, there they are, all in the screen. Oh, there's like a whole roster of characters you can play as. It's Ouija Dame. So, about her game, huh? God, I hope she doesn't turn into a hentai character this time. If you're a baby. Because this game is for children. Additionally, the 
Apaches can flutter jump, eat up. Why do they look so weird? <laughs> Ugh. What is this weird lipped Yoshi? Speaking of enemies, <laughs> mm -hmm. some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppycats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon Piranha. I'm sure I've seen that character. I'm sure I've seen something like that before in a previous game. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, giving you enough time to get away. Conks. Oh, there's goo. The unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that yeah. comes too close to their gaping. <laughs> there are plenty more new enemies. Looks like a derp already. Goombas. Oh, wow, Goombas? I've never seen them before. Locky twos and other familiar foes are also here. Because God forbid we do something entirely new and different for a Mario game. See, at least the elephant was fun. I low-key love the... I actually low-key love the reactions to the elephant Mario when it first showed up. God, I hope people don't make erotic fan art of that. So he's like regular Mario. You can do you can do that in literally the first Mario game. It's not just Mario though. Luigi. Luigi elephant. Oh god. Oh no, not Peach. Oh no. Oh, yeah, that's that one's definitely getting fan art. I know there's some. I know there's some that are into that. Oh. Okay, that's a new power up. Watch it. Watch it. Ha Watch them give it to you in every single block in a level. I think, um... I think it was it was Aaron from Gang Grumps who said, like... Some of, the, some of the charm in the original, like, NES and Super NES Mario games was like... Oh, you gotta, you gotta power up. Okay, I have to keep this. I have to play the game really well. Because I want to really keep this power. Because it's, like, not as common, right? Whereas in the new Mario platformers, they constantly give this shit to you. Because it's like, oh, you have to use it in this... Because this level has this particular gimmick. And... That's... I guess that's why I'm not, like... I'd prefer... I prefer the classic platformers over the new ones. Because it's like... They made it a little too easy. Like, trust me. Even playing... I love Mario 3. If you don't know how to play it properly, it is kind of relentless. I mean, it's not its not like original Mario Bros. 2, but it's still pretty tricky if you just let your like ego get ahead. Whereas I think they've made the Mario games way too easy. thats I guess that's why um, Kaizo ROM hacks got so popular, because it's like... We're tired of this. We want Mario to be challenging again. We're sick of, like, these Mario games are getting too easy. We want something new and challenging. And Nintendo just, for some reason, they've still got that same attitude that they had in 86. Like, we're not going to release this sequel to Mario because Western players weren't, like, they're too pussy to play this game. We're just going to give them a reskin of another game instead. But I think by this point, we deserve a Mario game that's actually challenging. A 2D platformer. At least it, at least this game looks fun and colourful. Like, I will play it. But I'm not expecting that much of a challenge out of it. Like, I played, I played Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I didn't finish it. Mainly because it's like, I want to play with other people. I don't want to play single player on the new Mario games. Oh, that's cool. They're giving me like... They're, they're giving me like Kirby powers. That one's definitely getting fan art. Mario Vore. Oh god, that is, that is already a thing, isn't it? Kids, don't Google Mario Vore. Especially not after this presentation. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Cool. Oh, so the, the, you can just use them whenever as well. 
I probably should be paying attention because there's probably some new stuff in this. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Oh, so buffs and debuffs. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some to trivialize the game even more, like slow your fall with a like that. But then again, that, that is just the that is just the um that is just the leaf from Mario Three. Well then. That's the that's just the jump from Mario Two. Toad is Spider Man now. Okay, now that is trivializing the gameplay a little more. Oh, I get get that is useful. Oh, that now that's just game breaking. Isn't that just the mechanic from Mario Run? There are many more badges with different abilities. Special wall jumping. Okay, I assume most like adult players are just going to be like, we're not going to use any of these. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Yeah, they've. This is this game is for kids. Come on, Nintendo, give us something harder than this. Instead of, you know... Instead of, you know, like... Trying to screw over ROM hackers and, and Kaizo makers by making your own game creation engine twice. Just make a hard Mario game. I think we deserve it at this point. Is anyone going to play as the Yoshis? Okay, so the, at least that's a little better than the, the bubble mechanic from the previous games. At least Mario's not crying like a little bitch in this one. Oh, what? Yoshi riding Yoshi? Elephant riding Yoshi? Online play. The mode where everyone screws each other over. World map and in courses. These are people from around the world enjoying the game. Yeah, how good? How good's the internet? I, I can tell. I can tell you right now, the reception will not be that good. Oh no! I died because I was in front of the player, but it lagged. Because the Switch's internet capabilities are dog crap. I've just been shitting on this whole... I was looking forward to this game because I was like, Yay, Mario game, fun. And I've just been spending this whole video just shitting on it. I don't know if that's because I'm tired or... Yeah, I mean, it is past midnight here. But also, like, come on. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items. You're either gonna have zero or nine 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 nine. We'll earn you heart points. No, I don't think people are actually. You know what? I don't think. I don't think people playing Mario games are that like. Are that dickish. Unless they're playing Mario Party or Mario Kart. Otherwise, it's just pretty wholesome. But we've never had a, a proper platformer with online play before, so... This will be a new experience for people. Maybe I could try it, if it's good. I would like to play with people, like... I would like to play local co-op, though, I think. I'd like to try all different kinds of things with this game. Well, at least there's that. There's like private... There's like private things. So that makes it better. But I'd still prefer local. 
Just purely for the purely because I'm old school and I enjoy. What what is that? Is that G mod? So the Yoshi's are still. You can still like not get hit. I don't know anyone who's gonna... Is anyone gonna play as the Yoshis? Oh no, Peach is... Peach is big! No! <laughs> don't Google Peach Vore! Ooh. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just our OLED. Oh. Cool. Can I get the red Joy-Cons though? Are they... Can you... Are they separate? Oh, okay. That's it. Well, thanks for joining me on this... Uh, this kid's game. <laughs> I, to be honest, I was expecting more than that, but... Oh, well, at least, Hey. At least I won't have to explain shit when the actual Nintendo Direct comes around. Wink. Yeah.